five most common mistakes when you are planning to buy a new construction house. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. Today I'm gonna explain 5 most common mistakes when you are planning to buy a new construction house and cost you thousands of dollars, a lot of money when you are planning to buy a new construction house. If you want to avoid this mistake, make sure to watch this video from this start until the end because I'm gonna give you my nuggets and also my experience when I am working with my new construction clients who wants to build a house from scratch or if they want to buy a new construction house okay if you are in this particular stage or if you are planning to buy a new construction house make sure to watch this video from this start until the end so that you will understand and maybe it could help you you know on your planning or your buying process a new construction that will save you a lot of money right but before I start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and also the most important thing smash that like button for me and share this video to all family and friends as you know sharing is caring so that they can save some money too not just you okay so without further ado let's jump into it so if you are planning to buy a new construction house it, this is like when you are planning to buy a brand new car okay so if you are planning to buy a brand new car what you need to think about is like they have some option or upgrades that they will offer you okay what kind of option this now are they or upgrades that they the builder offer you some builder give you some option some builder doesn't some builder let's just come with one packet okay but most builder that i've worked with they give you some more option to upgrade some of your let's say instead of having a flooring of wood flooring they will give you a tile flooring or instead of having like a carpet in your bedroom or in your living room they will put some wood flooring there but it will cost you more okay this is called the option to upgrade okay so if you are going to upgrade something in your new construction house what will happen is it will cost you a lot of money not a lot of money but will cost you number one is the material second is the labor okay the most important thing that you need to think about is like if you want to buy a new construction house you need to think about how much budget that you have okay if you don't have much budget or if you want to have like specific budget in your new construction house you need to avoid all the upgrades you can do the upgrades later on once you start living in the property maybe once you start saving up after three four maybe five years and then if you want to upgrade something in your property then do it by then don't do it when you are planning to buy a new construction house because it will cost you some money what do you mean about cost you some money as i said before will be in your labor however what the builder do is they will add those monthly costs in your mortgage okay instead of like you can save at least hundred dollars per month or two hundred dollars per month now you will pay hundred dollars more or maybe two hundred dollars more because of the upgrades that you are planning to do or that the one that you just you know selected in the work or job okay because everything costs not every upgrade is free everything what you put in your property costs you especially for the labor the labor is the most expensive when you are planning to buy or build a new construction house okay remember that one second that you need to think about is you need to negotiate with the new construction house okay when you are planning to buy a new construction house or let's say you are planning to buy a brand new car there is a agent there who's trying to sell you some okay so here in a new construction house you need to have an agent as well who can help you negotiate the house for you negotiate on your behalf okay like me i'm a realtor here in central florida which my area is claremont davenport polk county kissimmee osola county orange County, in central florida okay and i'm specializing in new construction so what i do is i represent my my client who wants to buy a new construction house okay so what i do is i negotiate on behalf of them so let's say new construction house when they saying this is the price of new construction house we cannot give you nothing that's wrong okay maybe if you are representing yourself you don't know anything you will probably say uh yes okay i will do that however if you have someone who can represent you as a realtor as i said like me i can do anything for you and i could you know negotiate on your 
behalf what kind of negotiation i can do for you here price point okay when some new construction house is let's say it's four hundred thousand or five hundred thousand okay i can negotiate that one i could say hey builder the builder who builds the prop or the new construction okay we have like different kind of builders here so what i can do is i would say to builder hey builder i have a client for you you right now who's watching this video and they are willing to buy this property and we can get under contract okay if you don't know the under contract this is where when they sold the property it means like you will put some down payment in your property normally the down payment is three percent for first time home buyer or 3.5 percent for home first time home buyer up to 10 percent 7 8 20 percent 15 percent you know that's a down payment you're gonna okay before they can do under contract you need to provide this down payment and sign the contract once you sign the contract give some down payment of your of the new construction house then you are under contract means like this house or this property particularly it's been sold or reserved to you and that's with the under contract works okay so this is what i can do for you if you are planning to buy a new construction house i could talk to the builder and say hey builder i have a client for you who wants to buy a new construction house we want to get this property in this particular area and then we are already pre-approved with, with a lender however okay remember this i have a pre-approval for only 480,000 if the price of the property is 500,000 you know we have like a 20,000 gap there I would say e, are you going to accept my offer I am talking right now as a realtor okay to the builder saying I can make this under contract right now and if only if you are going to accept our offer for 480,000 okay because this is the only budget for my client you my client to you know buy this property for new construction worst case scenario they will say no we don't do that this is our firm price that's fine at least you ask because if you don't ask you don't know the answer okay so either they will say no or they will make a counter offer this counter offer is huge they will say oh this 408,000 is very low however I can make it 490,000 okay give you 10,000 more if you are going to use the lender okay what is the lender the lender is the one who will give you money or loan you a money you know to support your mortgage okay like a bank bank and the lender is similar so what they normally do is they will give you some incentive instead of like you know using the lender or outside lender they will tell you use their lender and they will negotiate price for you right so what could you say i would say okay i can do that one rather than not okay that's like ten thousand cheaper which is i did for my past client okay what i did to my past client is like i told them that we are only pre-approved with this specific money or specific amount for more for mortgage we cannot go over on that one because this is the pre-approval that we have from outside lender so what they say is they counter offer us saying you need to make this more but we will use their lender so that they can pre-approve with their lender and then once they pre-approve with their lender you know we can get under contract so that's what we did and that's what i did as well as a realtor i represent them for the full full day you know like negotiating back and forth and at the end of the day we get under contract this property all right and then then what we did is we saved at least 10,000 for this new construction house, right? I negotiated a new construction house. Also, what we did is they pay the closing cost of supposed to be only 10,000. However, they give another 1,500 to maximize, you know, the closing cost. The closing cost now that we have for my client will be closing in about a month or two months. They will have like 10,000 plus 1,500. That's total of 11,500 in closing cost how cool is that how much money they save just you know representing a realtor like me to the builder if imagine if you are going to the builder or to the site that doesn't know anything all right would you know that how to negotiate with the builder answer that no right would you able to know what's the closing cost maybe yes maybe no but most likely if you're a first time home buyer do you know obviously not all right and also not just that that i also experience you know to give them some appliances to paid by the builder how cool is that normally when you're buying a new construction house under the builder rules and regulation they don't accept or they don't include some appliances some builders do some builders don't but this builder doesn't however try to negotiate that one as well i said okay we will go for this one if you some more okay what more did they give us the appliances here you go they save at least
is like 4,000 to 6,000 just in the appliances. How good is that, right? So that's a good thing if you have like a representation of a realtor or real estate agent and also, you know, when you are negotiating as well. Make sure you take note on that one, okay? For the last one or for the bonus one that I'm gonna tell here is when you are buying a new construction house, make sure that you know the timeline and also the HOA rules and regulation and also the HOA fees, okay? Because here in Central Florida, it's a lot of HOA that you need to make sure that you know the rules and regulation and also how much that you will pay from the first year of your HOA, the second, third, and fourth, and so on. That could costly for you. Let's say, oh, the HOA right now, we're only paying dollars and the next year or the next two years, it will be like 150, 300, you know? It's just a big, big gap, right? So your mortgage will be go up straight away. So make sure you know how much the HOA will cost you and also the rules and regulation as well, you know, because once you live in this property or in this particular community, they might have like, oh, this rules and regulation you need to follow. You cannot do this, you cannot do this, you can only do this, okay? So make sure you are okay with that one. And also a bonus one as well, you need to make sure the warranty of the house is on point. What do you mean about is on point? So it means like make sure that you know the warranty of the house is like in good condition. Let's say the warranty of the house is like a 10-year warranty for the structure warrant or you know whatever you can touch in the property like the door, the faucet, they have like a warrant for that as well because that will cost you more money when you are trying to see that, okay? But most new construction here in Central Florida that I'm specializing with, they have like a warranty of 10 years but we can double check that one if you like so that you know you have like a piece of mind, all right? So this is the video for today. I know this video is too long. I'm sorry about that but I'm stopping my video right now but before starting this video, if you watch this video until the end, comment down below Central Florida so I can see how many people who wants to move here in Central Florida wow. and also who watch this video until this end. I really appreciate your time. And once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Peace. <laughs> what is going on, guys? This is RJ Bautista. Hold on. My shirt is not right. Let me just put this on. Oh, much better. Good. Now let's do it again part two. <laughs>